Hello and welcome. My name is Inyabas Bernard and today I will be showing you how to work with variables in Python. So what are variables? Um, variables are simply reserved memory locations that are used to store data values. What this means is that the part of our computer memory will be kept aside to store data values that we will be working with while we are coding. So what I like to do is to just think of a variable as a container where I can store data values. Over here I have a container and this container is simply my variable and this is the value I want to store in my variable because I, I will be using this value from time to time. This is 70, it's an integer. So I'm going to store this in my variable. Now that I've stored it in the variable, I'm going to need a way of identifying this variable because we could have a lot of variables in our code. So what I'm going to do is to give this variable a name and that name is what is known as the variable name. Now with this variable name, I can identify my variable over here, the variable name I've chosen for this variable is score. So all I have to do to retrieve that value of 70 I stored in this variable is to call on this variable name score. So the variable name simply makes it easy for us to retrieve the data value that we've stored in that variable. All right, so in some programming languages, you actually need to declare a variable before assigning a value to that variable. So when we declare a variable, we are actually reserving a space in our computer memory to store any data into it. And when we assign value to that variable, that is when we're storing a value to the space we reserved earlier. For example, in the C++ programming language, this is how we declare a variable. We find out that we have to declare the variable first, this first line over here. And when we are declaring, we have to specify the type of data that we're going to store. In this case, I'm going to store an integer. So I have to specify int first before my variable name, which is score. And in this second line, I am actually assigning a value to that variable I created earlier. But I can do this with just one line of code in C++, where I have int, score, and 17. But what we realize is that in Python, that is not the case. We don't have to declare the variable before assigning a value to it. The declaration happens automatically when we assign value to that variable. Variables are declared in Python by using what we call the assignment operator, and that is this equal to sign. All right, so this is a typical example of how we declare a variable in Python. See, we don't have to specify the data type. We don't have to put int or anything like that. Python is smart enough to recognize the data type or whatever data value you're going to be storing in the variable. So all you need to do is just specify the variable name, then the assignment operator, and the data value you want to store in the variable. The variable name is usually on the left hand side while the data value is on the right hand side. Here is another example. In this case, my variable name is name and I'm storing a string. You see, I don't have to declare that I'm storing a string. All I need to do is just put it there. All right, so let's dive in to see how this is actually done in Python. All right, so this is my spider ID and I'm going to use the IPython console over here. So I want to store maybe my score in an exam. So I'm going to store this value in a variable name score and let's assume I actually had 17 70 so I'm going to store this in a variable which I'm going to call score and I'm going to hit enter okay so this value has been stored into this variable named score so to retrieve that value 70 all I need to do is call on the name on the variable name so bring and
score and I have my output here at 70 or I could just simply type score and here it is I have 70 as my output uh, then again we could store a name a string in a variable so let's see how that is done I'm going to have name this name is my variable name and I'm going to store a string uh, by the name the endurance right so it's enter okay now you notice in the variable explorer that we have the variable name over here Let me extend this we have a variable name over here and we have the type showing us the type of variable and showing us the size and over here we can see the value so i have name and i have score name is a string and score is an integer All right so back to our ipython console let's retrieve the value stored in the variable name name that's name sorry and endurance All right there you have it so in the next video i'll show you the rules of naming variables uh thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button thank you